Uh, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're color coordinated. So, ladies and gentlemen, to go ahead and graph this, um, again, all we basically need to make sure we know is the parent graphs, which were provided to you in your notes. Um, we also have them all up here around in this area to look at them. So the first thing is I can just graph the cosine of x. This is saying graph cosine of x for only x values that are less than 0. So if you guys look at my cosine function over there, that's for all values of x. I only want to graph it for the x values that are less than 0. So there, therefore, basically from the y-axis to the left, I'm going to graph the function. It's OK. Um, I can see that from the cosine, it crosses at 1. That's less than or equal to. So therefore, it's going to be going down. Um, don't be not really too concerned right now as far as where the graph crosses. We're going to be learning and practicing that um, this year. And then we have e to the x, where x is greater than 0. Now remember, that's an open circle. But if you look at e to the x, which actually I took down, the graph e to the x looks like this. So we don't need that out right now. So e to the x looks like this. If I'm graphing it for greater than 0, it would be an open circle looking like that. But since I already have a point here, I don't actually have an open circle, but it just looks something like that. Okay. Um, if I asked you to find